This is the first in a series of videos on printing with NinjaFlex. Now, unfortunately, most desktop printers out there are not optimized for printing flexible materials. But, in general, with just a few small modifications, most of them will work well with NinjaFlex. So, we're going to go through the basics of what modifications are typically necessary and why. Uh, we can't go into the details on every single machine that are out there. There are just too many manufacturers, too many design iterations to answer the question, you know, does NinjaFlex work on my printer? Uh, but we can go through the basics, and really if you have a common machine, then it, it's, it's very likely that someone already has made those modifications, has put a design on Thingiverse, or loaded the information on Google Groups, or somewhere like that. So, what I thought we'd do to start is go through the basics of a typical 3D printer, and then we'll get into the details of printing with NinjaFlex.